The great questions in life, why are we here? Is there a God? Are we alone in the universe? Where does cat dog's poop go? Today on Because Science we'll be answering one of those questions. Can you guess which one? <laughs> First, some refreshing nostalgia. You remember Cat Dog, right? Alone in the world is a little cat dog. Cat Dog was just that, an animal born half dog, half cat, literally. And although the show alludes to the fact that whatever comes in one mouth goes out the other, and that Cat Dog does in fact go to the bathroom, it never rigorously establishes how Cat Dog digestion and excretion works. Which leads one to ask, where does the poop go? There's a surprising amount of debate around this eternal question, and we wouldn't even be having this conversation if you guys hadn't tweeted uh, at me about it over 200 times. So, let's see what you guys thought. Okay, a majority of you think that cat dog's poop goes to some mysterious uh, poop dimension. Uh, no, but <laughs> let's go through it. Some cat dog truthers go along with what the intro suggests. A piece of food comes in one mouth, wow. and out the other mouth, wow. like some kind of a horrible reverse human centipede. Others think that cat dog poops out of some kind of mysterious anus, a hashtag mysterianus, if you will. And I guess that's not impossible. Here's a snake named Medusa, which eats using both heads and poops using one excretory orifice. But I want to suggest something else, something far worse than a reverse human centipede or or a mysterianus. My problem with these theories is that they contradict what we see in the cartoon. If Cat Dog does have an anus, and there's no real evolutionary reason for the intestines to be connected such that what goes in one mouth instantly comes out the other. And if Cat Dog doesn't have an anus, then the instant regurgitation that the intro suggests means that this Cat Dog thing would have to eat constantly or starve, which we don't really see. And no, Cat Dog isn't some hyper-efficient animal that can use 100% of the energy it gets from food. If not even 1% of that food energy got converted into a less usable form of energy like heat, for example, then entropy wouldn't be a thing. And entropy is the tendency for stuff in the universe to go from more ordered to less ordered, and it determines the fate of the universe. So no, there's no free lunch in the universe thanks to thermodynamics even for a little cat. So here is what I suggest. Cat dog doesn't poop at all. Yeah, not all organisms on this planet actually poop. And a majority of you watching right now probably have some of those organisms living on your face. Your face. Meet the Dermodex face mite, two species in this genus call your face home, or more specifically, your forehead and your eyelids and your cheeks and your chin and your nose and also your chest and your butt and your genital zone. You have them pretty much everywhere and a majority of you have them and you got them from your parents when you were born. Thanks. Feeling itchy yet? Don't worry, the bugs are pretty much harmless but it's about to get worse. No, no I'm good. Dermodex spend their lives embedded headfirst in your follicle, slurping up skin oil and skin cells with a retractable needle inside a clawed mouth. <laughs> but where does the poop go? Nowhere. These mites don't have an anus. Instead, Dermodex face mites eat until they die, storing all that poo in cells near their guts. And when they do die, uh, they just they just kind of leave a poo-filled corpse that decomposes and gets poo all over your face. And it's happening right now to a lot of you that are watching. And they're having sex, bug sex. <laughs> and although the data is only correlational right now, the Dermodex face mite, their poo, and the bacteria that's inside their poo have been linked in many studies to facial conditions like rosacea. And the cat half of cat dog does have an awfully red nose, doesn't it? Hmm, science, hmm. So, where does cat dogs poop go? I say nowhere. I think that like the mites having sex and dying full of poop on your face right now, that cat dog is an organism that eats but never poops. I think that because the other explanations don't really add up and at least there's a real world example of that kind of monstrosity. Cat dog, cat dog, it never ever poops. It just eats till it poops and dies. 
cat dog. Blech. Because science. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, did you know that you can get a Because Science shirt in the Nerdist store? Well, you can, and now you can also get, uh, on May 30th, a Nerdist hat. Ooh, don't you want a logo that means Nerdist and also laser danger for your collection? I know I do. This is mine. Get your own. May 30th. We also have a Twitter question from at jcash10. Uh, with the new Assassin's Creed trailer, could you do a Because Science on the Leap of Faith? Um, how about this? If the stack of hay was big enough, I can see it, it at least being theoretically plausible to leap off a tall building and have your fall cushioned by the hay because the reason why, uh, for example, an egg breaks on a sidewalk but not in a bed sheet is because the forces are the same but the amount of time it takes to apply those forces are different. So if you have someone falling into something that will slow the time of impact, like a gigantic bale of hay, uh, I think they might make it. That's how stunt people do it, but with bags of air, so. Do you know what the scientific term for hairball is? It's trichobezoar. And don't, PSA, don't ever, ever Google image search that. Because when you do, it's just like hairballs for people. Like they had to remove it. I warned you.